I'm Lake County Sheriff Brian Martin. I was recently made aware of a traffic stop made by one of my deputy sheriffs in Kelseyville on August 26. This was one of 19 traffic stops made by Lake County deputy sheriffs that day. Normally, routine traffic stops don't get brought to my attention, but this one did. The traffic stop involved a stop for a minor traffic infraction of a black couple from the Bay Area that were here to celebrate their honeymoon. The contact lasted just over 10 minutes and the driver was released with a warning. During the stop, there was dialogue between the deputy sheriff, the driver, and the passenger. The interaction was captured on the deputy sheriff's body-worn camera and you will have the opportunity to view it yourself shortly. After the stop, the driver and passenger continued on their way and shared their experience with some local business owners in Kelseyville. As a result, the sheriff's office has received a couple of messages about the belief that these people were racially profiled and there have been social media posts about the encounter. The purpose for this video is to address these claims and to provide as much transparency as possible. For as many people that watch this, there are likely just as many differing viewpoints on not only this interaction, but on interactions between law enforcement and people of color in general. Clearly, I'm not a black man who has ever been stopped by the police. I don't have those types of direct personal experiences to draw on, and I never will and the vast majority of people who watch this video have never been a law enforcement officer who has interacted with people who are overwhelmingly supportive of law enforcement, but knowing that there are people we encounter who would do us harm for a variety of reasons having nothing to do with us personally, but simply because we represent the government and law enforcement. My hope in publishing this video is to provide a learning opportunity, not just a learning opportunity for law enforcement officers and not just a learning opportunity for community members, but an opportunity for everyone. Now I'm not delusional and I don't see things through rose colored glasses. There are a small number of people on both extreme ends of this topic that will never be receptive to an opportunity to see things from another person's perspective, but the vast majority of us are reasonable. Clearly there are racial tensions and significant social issues, not only in regards to law enforcement and people of color, but to systemic issues in general, and we all have an opportunity to improve. My initial reaction on seeing this video was a reaction of defensiveness. Not only for my deputy and my agency, but for my profession. And again, this is the initial reaction of a career law enforcement officer who has never faced an encounter with law enforcement as a person of color. After mulling the encounter over, I realized that rather than trying to defend the actions of the deputy as actions that I believe to be justifiable, Go forward. Go forward to an open spot. Good afternoon. Are you lost? No, we're not from here. Oh, okay. All right. So the reason why I'm stopping you, okay, is because you were going 45 in the 55 mile per hour zone. And then when you turn right, you caught across all of those white lines. So it was an unsafe right turn. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're not from here. Okay. We're not from here, officer. All right. It's okay, baby. We're just going to relax. Come on. Okay. All right. Uh, can you see, can't see your license, registration, and insurance? Yes, officer. Okay. Um, where are you guys going today? Going back to our Airbnb to enjoy our trip. Okay. We just got married. We, we're not from here. We're on a baby honeymoon. Like, okay. We don't want any problems. We're really uncomfortable right now with all the shootings going on. Like, Ain't nothing gonna happen here. We don't, we don't know. Like, You're good. You're good. What's that, man? 
Come round two, man. We're good. <laughs> What's that? Of course. I just want to talk with you because my of father, course. my father was also an officer in Oakland. Okay. In Oakland. Okay. And, and we okay. talk. I know. I just want him to understand that you know there's no fear in communicating. Like right? this is my brother. Huh? And I want you to understand, officer. Yes. Uh, we understand we made an illegal term, but we are not from out here. Okay. It was definitely an accident. Okay. We don't want no trouble. Okay. I'm not saying I want to give you a ticket or anything or nothing's going to happen. Uh, I'm just going to check your guys' stuff out and you'll be on your way to enjoy your Airbnb and enjoy your pizza. Well, thank you just for understanding. I just yeah, want you to understand. Right? Yeah, totally understand. It's tough right now. I know, but it's, uh, it's a small little county here, so, you know. So, can I see your registration insurance too, please, ma'am? On my phone. Okay. <sighs> so you guys from Oakland? Yes. Yeah. And then you guys are up here on vacation only? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, where are you guys staying at? If you don't mind me asking. I'm just trying to have a conversation just to see if I can give you guys some shooters or where to go to restaurants and stuff. Honestly, we're leaving like first thing in the morning. Oh, yeah? We just, we just came in here for a day to get away. To Lake County? <laughs> okay. Let me just see the registration. I believe you have insurance. Let me just see the registration. And sir, um, can I see your ID too? Do you have one? Actually, you are, but. It's registration. I provide this as that learning opportunity for anyone who chooses to take it, including myself. For law enforcement, this is an opportunity to understand that your encounters with the public, whether they are with people of color or not, whether you are a person of color or not, as this deputy is, and whether your opinions are in agreement with the person you are speaking with or not, you should understand that their thoughts, feelings, and opinions, just like yours, are molded by their unique experiences and that their thoughts, feelings, and opinions are just as valid to them as yours are to you.
Officer. <laughs> officer. I'm sorry, my dog is shy. So <laughs> it's, it's a good. He's a little nervous. Officer, but like, really, okay. really. Come, baby, baby. Let me okay. talk to the officer. Okay, so 45 miles. Was that the, the main reason, or was it because we, we crossed over? Because we just uh, we just don't understand why we got pulled over. Oh, well, there's two reasons. Okay. So, so it was the speed. The uh, speed. Okay. 45. In a 55. In a 55. Mile. And That's then. Not speeding, though, officer. That's I know. We don't understand. But you're impeding uh, the flow of traffic. Okay, so, so after that, then you switch oh, should... lanes all the way across. Wait. Okay. You, Hear he's me speaking. out. He's speaking. He's speaking. Okay. So then you switch. Of your lanes all the way across just like that okay so usually those are signs of someone driving under the influence understood, okay understood. so it's just a regular traffic stop okay where i'm just checking uh, your status and so <laughs> back up to me is that bad? so no okay because it's, it's a lot man jacob blake just got shot seven times man. okay well i don't know it's him. a lot so i'm scotson there's a brother, he walked away. I'm not here to argue with you, okay? I'm not here to argue you. No, that's why. I'm not even giving you a ticket or nothing. I'm going to let you go right now. So I, I don't know I why we're even continuing this conversation. Because I'm a little nervous. It's okay. You're good, man. Nervous. It's okay. Well, you're good. It's just the lights. It's traumatization. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go without a ticket. And nothing has happened yet. And you were totally cool with me. Totally professional with me the other you time. Awesome. Respectful to me. So, so there's no issues. There's no reason for you to bring up I'm not. I'm just all the stuff that you're bringing up right now. Now, the officers man. shooting people and stuff like it's that. Just nervous, man. And the reason why I stopped you is because you're impeding the flow of traffic and crossing over on the lines like that, which made me believe she's, someone was under the influence. And I checked you guys out, no one's under the influence, and now you guys are free to go. Thank you. Thank okay? You. It's just simple like that. I wish it was that simple. It okay. Is, baby. It well. is and you are That's one in a million, it seems like. Well, I know it's more brothers. Baby, like please, I said, my father. Talk. I just please stop talking. Please. I just want the officer to know I respect him. Okay. okay, thank you. Please so, understand I respect you and I appreciate you. Okay. Here's your guys' information. Enjoy your pizza, and I like your dogs. Thank you. So Here. Much. Thank you too. All right, guys. Take care. Okay. You too. Man. And drive safe. Thank you very much. All right. Please provide the level of respect to the people that you serve as you would expect to receive for yourself. Oftentimes, simply listening to someone who wants to be heard is enough. And for people on the other side of the badge, hopefully you can understand that the vast majority of law enforcement officers want to make their community safe for you and everyone to include those that live here as well as people who come to visit as this couple did. And most, like the deputy in this video, do their best to do so in a professional and respectful manner, all the while knowing that there are inherent and frequently unknown risks that they encounter every day. Was this interaction perfect? No, but it does provide us all that learning opportunity to not only understand each other, but to think about how our actions are perceived on both sides of the badge.